Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have created our first spec file. How to create the spec file in the Angular we have seen. Now it's time for us to write the test cases for all the Angular components or services or anything. So before proceeding to all this one, so we will try to write the test case for a simple service. Okay, we'll try to write the test case for a simple service. How we can write this one? In our previous courses, Jasmine testing courses, we have seen about the calculator program. For the calculator JavaScript application, we have written the test cases for it. So how to write the test case for addition, subtraction like that, right? Now in this video also, we will try to do the sample thing. Then afterwards, we will proceed to the normal project. So for that one, what, what I will be trying to do is, so I am opening here the terminal and here if I try to do, yeah, so first I need to create a service file that is nothing but calculator service file. In that calculator service file, what are the things you will be having is, you will be having two methods, something like add and subtract. I will try to keep it as simple only. I will not add multiply, divide and all those things. So we will have two, two methods, add and subtract and we will write, try to write this test cases for this add and subtract which is present in the calculator service so for, for in order to create a cali service file in angular we use the command ng generate service i am taking the folder in such a way that services slash calculator in the services folder i am creating a separate again folder calculator and for in that folder i am creating a service calculator.service.ts so that it will be unique now i am creating here so let it create now here I am not keeping the spec false or something like that. Why? Because we need the spec file. Why? Because this course is all intended about the spec files only. So now two files has been created calculator.service.ts and calculator.service.spec.ts. If you go to the project folder and here you will be able to see a new folder services has been created in the app folder. And in this one you will be able to see another folder calculator. In this calculator folder we are able to see calculator.service.spec.ts file. So, which contains the predefined some uh, test test case code. So, we will try to write it from the scratch. And here, the calculator.service file. So, this is the thing. So, provided in root means it is provided at the root level. There is no need to add it in the app.module.ts. And here, we are having a simple class. It is related to the simple class itself. Now, here, we are having constructor. Let's make it as simple. So, going on, we will make it. Uh, we will expand it more. So, now, I am reviewing the constructor. So I am not doing any dependence injection and all those things, we will do afterwards. Now what I want to do is, I need to create two methods, I need to add the two methods, that is add method and the subtract method. So let's try to add it. So I am having an add method. Add method will have two parameters, first one is the n1 and another one is an n2. So it will accept two numbers, n1 and n2 and another one is a subtract method. So subtract method also takes two parameters, n1 and n2 okay so these are the two parameters so let's try to change this one yeah now in this subtract method we have added right now in this add method what we need to do we need to do the addition so what i will try to do i will try to return or otherwise so let's try to take let result is equal to let result is equal to n1 plus n2 and i will try to return this result okay so that's it so this is a simple thing. So I want I want to make it as simple. So in the same scenario, you have a subtract method also. Let's take let result is equal to n1 minus n2. Okay. And here I will try to return the result. So nothing we are doing, nothing here. So we are taking two methods, add and subtract. And here we are taking two parameters, n1 and n2. We are adding the result and we are returning the result. And subtract also doing the same thing. So it is taking the two numbers, n1 and n2, and it is returning the result. That's it. So this is our simple service file. Now what we need to do? So now we need to write the test cases for this service file. So when we go to this calculator.service.spec file, already some code has been written in the because of the Angular CLI generation. So we have generated the services through the Angular CLI, right? Angular CLI has already created some boilerplate for us. So let's let's remove this one all. So why do why, why because we don't want these all the things. We will try to do it from first onwards. So I am removing this one all. So as we already know, so first we need to use the describe method. So describe is for creating a test suite. So here I am using, so for which one we are writing? So we are writing it for the calculator service, right? So now this calculator service will take a function, okay? Now we need to have two methods. We need to write the two specs, two test cases. 
so first one is it and it should take it will also take the title it should add two numbers okay so this is the first one it should add two numbers and here if you try to see and i will try to write it here like this okay and another test case is it should add it should subtract two numbers so these are the two test cases we need to write it so let's try to execute this one let's see try to see the output so here what is the command so we need to use the command npm test so we are uh, so let's see, let it execute and the chrome browser will be automatically open it open so the karma will like, say check all the files spec files what are available and it will try to open the file so here the karma has opened the chrome browser so if you try to see here the calculator service it is showing that spec has no expectations we haven't written any expectations in this one so now if these two are in the pending state why because we haven't implemented any any code in this one so one way to make it this one is so we can write here pending like this okay so we can use the pending like this so that the karma will automatically recognize and it will give you so it will try to refresh so it will go to the pending state it will show you that it, it, these two are in the pending state so it, here it is showing that so here star mark means these are in the pending state so yellow yellow representation is nothing but these are in the pending state or otherwise as we have already seen in the jasmine course and all those things so if you want to make it as a pending means you can use xit here you can mention like this xit now if you try to see so this is also same thing only so temporarily disabled with xit so here it will show you a message something like temporarily disabled with xit for example i want to make it fail i want to check that if it is failed means how it will be so you can also use fail like this so literally this one will fail so here if you try to see see calculator should add two numbers has been failed so like this we can do it now what we need to do is so now we need to implement this one first let's try to implement the addition of two numbers now for doing this addition of two numbers what is the thing we need it if you see the calculator.cs service.ts file so this is a class file calculator service in order to access this method add method in a calculator service so we need to create the instance of the calculator service and through that instance we need to we need to call add method so let's try to do it simple thing what we can do here so here constant calculator is equal to new calculator service so i can call it like this now i can able to use let result is equal to calculator dot add i can use the add method so now i need to pass two very two numbers so i am passing two numbers now what i need to do i need to check that expect result dot to be 4 so 2 plus 2 is 4 right so we need to check that whether the result we are getting from the calculator dot add is 4 or not we need to check let's try to see this in the karma see it should add two numbers has been successfully executed now let's try to implement the subtract test case also so here so here also what we need to do in order to access this subtract method we need to have the we need to get the instance of this calculator service so same scenario same thing so let's create let calculator is equal to new calculator service and here let result is equal to calculator dot subtract this time we need to add the we need to call the subtract so i'm using the same variables two comma two and let's try to see expect of result dot to be of zero so this time subtract means two minus two is zero right so now we have implemented the two test cases now we need to remove the x here so that it will try to execute it now if you try to see the two test cases got success so this is the way we will be calling the test cases uh, services in the ang in the angular now for example tomorrow if any guy comes and here instead of doing the subtraction if any if he changes the source code like this means immediately what will happen the test case will fail expected 4 to be 0 2 into 4 4 we are getting the 4 result but you are checking with the 0 it is trying to say so this is how we will be able to get the errors so this is how we will be we can do the test cases for the service so what we have did here we have created two test cases so we have created the instance for the calculator service and calculator dot add we have added and we have seen like this okay so this is how we will be writing now in the next video what we will try to do is if it has a dependency injection of or the or other service if it has a dependency on the other service how can we write, how we can write the code let's try to see it in the next video
If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.